The following is a presentation of TFNN. Now, your money masters, Tom O'Brien and Steve Rhodes. Welcome, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us on this beautiful day. We have uh, the Dow right now up three, NASDAQ up three, S&Ps are flat. Gold is down nine, ten. You got silver off 18, platinum's down nine. Uh, oil's off a couple bucks. Bonds are down six ticks. Uh, dollar is up uh, 12 ticks. And uh, last night, yes. China got oh, smoked. Oh, big time. I mean, big time. Big you time. talk about smoked, folks. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it got toasted and roasted. And uh, if we. Yeah, we're taking a look at the, at the Shanghai this morning. Oh, you look know. at how pretty and, that is. Yeah, and, and, and just take a look at that candle. You know, the heads up it gave on March 14th, which I, right. I wasn't paying attention to it, but nice bearish engulfing candle. Takes out four or five trading sessions. Huge. And then take a look at today, you know, just gaps down through the 0.382. It's headed, it's headed all the way down here, the 2311 at least. Right. You know, just a normal 0.786 retracement. Now, and that's, that's the Shanghai, but watch me bring up the, 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 the Shenzhen. Okay. Okay, which is, uh, it's just another, it's... So, the top components inside there? Yeah, or, well, no, no, okay. I'm, I'm no. not... Sh okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right. The ball... The ball Shenzhen. Yeah, that's it. Is it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's it. That's it. All right, good. Uh, and that's trading at 909, Whoa. folks. Okay? Uh, now, it, it, these are all m much smaller numbers. There's no doubt about so look it. At, look at at the top Same there. Look deal. at that bearish engulfing candle. Huge. Right there at the top. Huge. Total signal. Right. You know, which, same thing we've got with gold. Gold contract, you know, it's got the, you know, similar, oh, yeah. similar kind Listen, of uh, look to it. And they've they've sucked it in, and you know, this bottom line is that this is building costs for lower price, man. You know, I mean, it, there's some, there's it's it's a heavy deal that's going on out there right now. When I saw China last night, though, yeah. I said, there it is, materials, oil. It's going to be. You're going to see. This is going to. This is a commodity based, for sure, leadership on the way down. Yeah. Well, you know, we know in, in the energy sector, you know, I, yeah. I, I mean, this morning, I, I didn't get a chance to go into it. I, I ran into a number of problems. Occidental was trading down. So I don't know what, what their, what their, you know, their stock chart looked pretty strong. You know, when I looked at it, I think maybe last week or, or what have you, but they're trading off a couple bucks this morning. They're down two and a half percent. So, and you know, it, that energy sector just has uh, got some troubles. Look at Oxygen and ABC down. Okay. It, it already did. See, okay, folks, what you have here is this. The XLE already did a confirmed ABC down. Got the right. price tag and everything. Right. Did another B to a C. It's doing another one. And let me tell you something. When you start doing multiple ABCs down or up, they stay there for a while. And this is uh, this is a big heads up that we're going to go all the way back to the October fourth levels on the energy sector. Uh, if we want to go over to to bid, well, the energy sector it represents what ten or eleven percent of the S and P, or probably more money. More, probably more, more, money. more because yeah. of Exxon Mobil. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, sure. we'll so find I'm, out, but yeah. it's probably more money. Yeah. The, and the key, the key to understand is that the, the the gold sector, okay, has been you know a dynamic sector in ten years. Yeah. Bottom line, the corrections in it though have been vicious. Okay. Yeah. This one's no different. Boom. Yeah. I mean, you're coming, and, and this this one here though, I you know I went back yesterday, and I went back and said, okay, has it led? any of them on the way down. It actually hasn't, okay. which is kind of like, okay, that's a heads up. It really hasn't. Um, what I'm looking for now is this, is that the March 2009 level, Yes, that's where these want to go to, folks. And, and you're looking I, at the gold equities. Yes. You're looking, okay. And, and I do expect... Which is really a trip. It is. And I... And when, I when you can say, so what was gold in March of 2009? You know, uh, versus, versus... Yeah, 688 bucks. Yeah, 688 versus... Versus 1600. Right. And I, I, That's a trip. It That's is. It. No, no, it, it is a disconnect, big time. Now, there's also a disconnect. The next disconnect, of course, is that oil's at 105, yeah. and the oil stock going uh, yeah, downtown. Yeah, exactly. Same, okay? that, it's the what's, same disconnect. What's the, what's the problem? Yeah. Selling. Yeah. That's yeah. all it's yeah, about. It's, uh, yeah. it's supply, supply and demand, demand. Yeah, and they're sure. selling. For sure. You know, the insiders are selling, the funds are selling, you know, the distribution's going out there. Picture this for a second, folks, okay? And you've got to wrap your head around this for a second. If you were running money, yeah. Okay. If you're running money, your job is to basically make people money. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. yeah. That's the that's the business. Okay. That's right. So now let's look at what the S and P has done thus far. And you're gonna, you're gonna get you're gonna. So what the risk right now? Okay. 
the the, the S&P um, nice acceleration. So if we go right to we go to January first, January first is twelve fifty eight. Yeah. So you're up one hundred and fifty points. That's uh, that's sweet. That's what fifteen oh, percent. No, it's, a, it's a great, you know, great oh. move from coming back from Thanksgiving. Okay, even, you know, I mean, no, just, no, but hey, yeah. stay with me for a second okay. because I'm talking about just a professional money manager. Yes. If we had, okay, if, we, if, if we, for, if, for the year, if, for what you, you got it. Year. Yeah, you we, want to protect it. Yeah. Yeah, you made a great return. Finish. You got that's summer. It. You got summer coming. No, that's it. You spend clean. time in the Hamptons. No, clean it up. Yeah, clean it up. Because yeah. what the the risk is. That's right. So what you say, what I'd say to myself is, is okay. That's and this is what I always say to myself: What's the downside? Right. And if I was running someone's money right now, I'd say, Hey, you know what, man? Clean it up. He's they got fifteen percent. Bring everything in. Yeah. Right. And say, okay, show me now. Yeah, Show me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I made I made what I was supposed to make out there. I did it. That's 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 a big heads up. Apple. Let's go take a look at Apple now. At what Apple has done, folks, you're gonna love this. It, you know, we were talking about yesterday. There's no patents whatsoever, and there isn't. But what we do have is intraday patents. That's right. So you're looking at a 10 minute chart. A 10 minute chart. Yesterday, you know what it had done, folks. It's taken a B point of an ABC up. The price point was 620. Well, bang! Here we are at 620. Well. <laughs> hold on to your hold on to your shots. Don't go shot Apple right now because what just happened on the open is that it took another B point out of an ABC up. Now now that projection. So if you're watching Tiger TV, this is a this is a riot. Now, now without any kind of retracement that somebody could have gotten into to really. Yeah, play no, it. it's it's a hundred percent. It's just it's just, it's just, it's just this is this is sideways moves. Yeah, That's, and right. and those are the most powerful ABC ups too. All downs, folks. Okay, yeah. there's no retracement whatsoever. Goes sideways, bang, takes it out again. Yes. Well, on the open this morning. 1.9 million shares took out uh, took them all out took out one took out 900 million okay uh, nine million rather 900 thousand so what you have there your, your B point is 614 your A is uh, 596 so you got what 14 and fours you got 18 bucks 18 on top of uh, 612 uh, six, so six thirty, another ten. Six thirty, you got another ten 30, bucks. Six thirty, yeah. So here you go. No problem. <laughs> Whether which, which, oh, that's it, sick. It can, it can do that, you know. Yeah. In a, in a breath. It, it, it can. It, it absolutely can. There's, uh, there's no doubt about it, man. I mean, the, it, it would be another. It would be another two percent or so. Yeah. Well, the the cool thing. So. You know what the cool thing is here, folks. The cool thing is that now we have a patent to identify, though. Okay, the AB. Uh, that's and right. And then okay, that's all so it is. I yeah. mean, it, but we absolutely have a patent to identify now. Uh, so, you know, the correlation, you know, would be like, okay, you, you have to absolutely wait for that, that swing pattern to, 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 to finish. To break down or and, and then, that too. Yeah. And then and it would be like, okay, can, can it do another one? And when it doesn't do another one and it's anemic, yeah. then... And when you break a smaller swing with volume, that'll be the first heads up that, okay, now right. it wants to pull back. Right, right, right. So, <laughs> it's, it's wild, man. It yeah. Is. yeah. Now, now what, what's also cool, uh, so during the during the 9 o'clock show, we're showing the ABC down in the ES Mini, okay. uh, the 30-minute chart. Yeah. Okay. And, and that all, when you take a look at patterns, that all made sense. Now, because I had to reboot my computer and I lost a, uh, it during the morning show and I had to you know, uh, pull up a new screen. Well, I pulled up the, the ES Mini, and I already had the tool that's in there that shows all the sacred geometry, Yes, you know, between swing points. Right. So what what is really cool is because, you know, the B point that it's got to take out is right down here from 630 last night, right? which was down at the uh, 1404 area. But what is really cool about this is take a look at how it actually stopped right now at that B point by doing the following things. It does a one-to-one -one move, so okay. that makes sense, right? So right. it makes that move a move, That's right. going back to that B point. Right. 1.272 expansion off of this swing point. Right. You come back a little further, folks, the the, the, the next swing point's really on the way down. And that's You've a got large four, one. 4 a.m., that's yep. right, that's a large one. 4 a.m. on the 26th, that's a .618 retracement. Come all the way back down to the 10.30 time frame on the 23rd, point three. Look at all the sacred geometry you've got. So, Man. Now, what's really important to understand about that, folks. I'm in love. Oh, me too, baby. <laughs> what's really important about that is that when this area here gets taken out, what you've got to understand on this, and what I was really showing the folks is we're looking at more than a one-to-one, -one, in my opinion, more than a one-to-one -one ABC down. Yeah. And just normal breathing patterns. Right. Now, when, when, when you all of a sudden have all of this sacred geometry numbers coming together, and that can't hold it. Right. That's just to me. That's just another complete indication. It's that, huge. Ba boom. It's huge. You know, it's going to do more than the one to one. So it was actually. So I'm glad I had to reboot my system and pull yes. this up because I I didn't have this 
I didn't have I didn't have that uh, that uh, chart indicator on the original. One you, you know what's so at. cool about what we're just saying? I've I've found out in life, folks. Okay, and this is just in, in the markets and in life. You actually get more information. On, on from a failure, yeah. Exactly oh, there's no question. About. Yeah, and, it, and it's really a, cool, man. Yeah. I mean, it's you know, it's like if you if you're even like, if we jump from there and you're talking to someone and they refuse to talk about it or something, it's like, oh, okay. Now we well, now, it's, yeah, yeah. no seriously, Cause, cause right? Because of, of pain. Oh, well, or whatever. whatever. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm just, just in general, it's like, okay, hold it. I I get that. Which you know, and, and it's important to understand well, that. Which well, is, you know, even so much so, and I I totally agree with you. And uh, what was interesting is. Uh, in my in my uh, my webcast that I do every other week with yes. my clients, so today at three o'clock, what we're actually going to be discussing is one of my failures. Okay. So you know, so it's, it's okay. kind of cool that you actually bring it up. Yeah. And what I mean there is that you know I'm just showing some of this sacred geometry. Well, last week I think on Monday or Tuesday I did some sacred. Ge now this is I was doing the right side of the chart because anybody can do the left side of the chart. Right. So I was doing an advanced right side of the chart, taking a look at the. At, at sacred geometry between swing points, both contractions and expansions. Okay. And I gave a range on the ES Mini where it should come down to right. and hold the support. It was a four-point range, okay. which was, and sure enough, on Friday, that's what it did. It came down to that area. Right. And the problem was, so so three days ahead of time, I've identified the chart pattern. Yes. We, we didn't pull the trigger. I was in Denver, you right. know, and getting ready. And, but, but, but from my standpoint, that was a failure because I spent time, uh, you know, identifying where right. it should go. We had the market move. But I, you learn, you know, your successes, you sit there and you celebrate. You don't go back necessarily right. and evaluate. Right. You know, what went right. Right. That's right. That's right. And so you can learn more from it. Right. You know, which means, you know, so you go ahead and you just, anyway, so, I, oh, so cool. it's kind of interesting that, and I don't mind, uh, I, because there is more to learn by uh -huh. going back and taking a look at, at failures or, and, and oftentimes, you know, what's interesting is, is that uh, at the Master Trader course, we even got in a little discussion about it just amongst us all. About oh, yeah. just there's more, much more to learn, like you're saying. Hey, listen, I I'll tell you flat out, when I got out of the Marines, I always wanted to be in the finance business. Yeah. No one would hire me. It's the only reason I'm here. It's like you got to <laughs> do it yourself. I love it. Exactly. No, seriously, no doubt. No. You know what I mean? I love it. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, you stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Uh, yeah. X-Story Gold Mines, an NYSE Amex-listed company trading under the symbol XG, is slated to be the newest gold-silver producer in Argentina. X-Story is forecast to produce more than $250 million in bullion annually, beginning in 2013, at a cash cost of less than $200 for each ounce of gold produced. That forecast will make X-Story one of the highest margin operators in South America and a sector leader in the mining industry. X-Story has $50 million in its treasury, having spent over $60 million to date on drilling and engineering. The ultimate size of its Argentina discovery could be determined by year-end, as results from the six drills operating at the site are fully assessed. To find out more about X-Story Gold Mines and their exciting growth potential, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE Amex under the symbol XG. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of investment newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. Go to TFNN.com today, click Investment Newsletters, and get Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments. And whether you're bullish or bearish on Chinese stocks, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you seek to maximize your returns. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus 
and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, folks. Turns out my best student became my best teacher. Steve Rhodes absolutely raised my standards, and I'll guarantee he'll raise yards. Thanks, Tom. What I've learned is that if you want more, you must become more, and that transformation, folks, that occurs the moment you decide to become a master. Now, the quickest way to mastery is through immersion, and for two solid days in Denver, Boston, and Tampa, I'll create a new standard of wealth for those few trader investors who have a burning desire to succeed. At my Master Trader course, I'll teach you how to create the ultimate money machine. These are the best-kept secrets in the business. Roadblocks, folks. Dabblers give up when they first appear. Stressors last just a little bit longer, but masters expect roadblocks and achieve extraordinary results when they bust right through them. I have all the benefit of knowing the type of wealth creation that I can generate for you. You don't. That's why I'm making this unconditional money-back guarantee. If for any reason you're not satisfied with my Master Trader course, I'll refund every penny. That's right. I take all the risk, and you get all the benefit. Go to the homepage at TFN.com and sign up today. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it's just it's wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Goldfields. For more information, just click the Goldfields banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. Now, don't forget, folks, uh, April 13th, April 13th, 14th, Tampa, Florida, right in our offices in a beautiful Clearwater, downtown Clearwater. Steve's going to be doing a Master Trader Series this Friday and Saturday. Then he's going to be going up to Boston, Massachusetts, April 27th and 28th. I am. And all those details on the front page of TFNN that comes with an unconditional money-back guarantee, folks. Yeah. So come on down and visit us. Uh, if you're in the Boston area, New England area, uh, Boston in April is gorgeous. Yeah, and uh, we're probably going to carry in pizza. Yeah, lunch up Ray there. Gina's no, no. pizza. That, 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 do they do uh, delivery? That'd be too far out. Well, we we have to get a half baked. Yeah, get half -baked. Did, you ever, did you get them half baked and then uh, always, always, okay. always to so get them half baked half and I'll just get the uh, guys in the hotel to, they'll, to they'll finish them off. Yeah. Bring some goop and uh, totally. Oh man, oh that would You're be that would starving be starving right oh, now. Oh, you oh, might you might even want to attend. I'm getting master starving trader. right now, man. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, now you've got you've got your master uh, trader coming yes, up tomorrow. here, right? Tomorrow. Okay. All day long, live tomorrow, man. We're going to growl on a problem. We finally got a little volatility. I hope this vol You know what's amazing? If folks, I'm telling you something. You know, it, it, depending on whether you're an investor or a trader, but if you're a trader, just this little tiny volatility right. like is heaven. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Like it, it blows like my it. mind like that, you it. know, you can only have 10 S&P points and I'm re re enjoying, you know, because at least, I, you know, you get something going here, man. It's like... If, if really right, it's crazy. <laughs> Let's go to our man Rick in British Columbia. Hey, Rick, what's happening, brother? Hey, how you doing? Hey, Tommy, it was uh, I think it was I'm Steve. I've op uh, options expiration on gold and silver, and I think it ends today. So I just thought I'd mention that. Uh, it puts called. I really don't. Under I just heard something about it. Yeah, I, don't know if that, yeah. I mean, I'm sh uh, that's possible. I I'm not. I'm not sure, but that's possible. Yeah. And uh, notice a little doji on a weekly on Apple, and it's taken us to about 635, and I think then maybe, you know, and on a monthly, I guess it probably has volume, so maybe early next month that has to get tested. We'll have to see, I guess. But uh, my question about GDX, I found that very interesting. I put that on a weekly. You, I thought you said 2009, March. Close. Yes. If you look at GDX, it's got big volume down there on a weekly at around 39.50. I think that's uh, 2010. I'm just going to double check it here because I switched. Uh, do you see see what I'm talking around? The big yeah, let me just week. pull it up. One second. So the law, uh, 2010. Okay. 
Yeah, I see that. You see that? Uh, on the GDX, that? folks, uh, yeah, he's looking at 39 bucks. Yes, I do see that. Yeah. That swing point there has it, yes. And, you know, really, it, it, you keep talking about the dollar going to 89, but, I mean, that's, that, that's the euro going down to test the lows where, it, from all the charts I see, it's got volume sitting down there. I don't know if you see the same thing on the U.S. dollar having volume up at 89, but if you look at the FXE, which is trades to about 50 cents lower than the euro, um, you know, on a weekly, monthly. It's got volume sitting down there, and um, I would imagine uh, gold and the euro go hand in hand, kind of thing. But uh, well, you got. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's talk about this for a second, because see, there's a lot of different dynamics that are going on right now inside the gold market. Um, they all have to do with the U.S. dollar. Okay, so you got you got to wrap your head around this for a second, folks. Okay. And you know, I, I, it is so cool, you know, I, I am so glad I got my head wrapped around gold so early because I've learned so much about every other market. Yeah. And, and I'm telling you, and I'm talking about even fundamentally, folks, okay? So technically, it's a no-brainer, okay? Steve and I, we can get you in a class and get you technically up to, but fundamentally, it's a little bit different. And what you have happening now is this. So, so picture, you have... Uh, in India, you know, they're trying to tax the heck out of it. So there's a huge revolt going on right now. And what, what's happening with the revolt is that 300,000 jewelers are saying, okay, we're not going to sell you gold anymore, right? Now, do, do, they, do they have a tax already and they're just trying yeah, to increase is, it? This, or is, this is what uh, they always had. They always had a 1% tax. Okay. Okay. Which in itself, okay was absolutely insane because I remember, you know, in 2000, 2001, I'm saying to myself, this is really weird. We can buy gold at one price. They own more gold than anyone, but they always have to pay a tax okay. to the government, okay. right? Yeah. So then what the government did in January is that they turned around and they made that uh, a 1% tax to a 2% tax. That lasted all of six weeks. Okay. And then all of a sudden the government said, we're going to make it a 4% tax. Wow. Now, picture this. That's... Okay, so... So they want to tax the heck out of it, and they want to steal the, the, you know, the citizens' money. The bigger issue, though, in, inside what I do inside the gold report and inside the dollar, I start looking at that. I says, okay, hold it. This is going to get really interesting. And what it is, it has to do with how gold is priced in U.S. dollars. Okay. You just stay right there. because, And, and, and we're just going to talk about oil because I want to show you a correlation here that is skewing things. Not skewing things, but it's making the dollar even stronger. And the more gold gets bought, the more stronger the dollar is actually going to get. The pendulum is shift, and it's, it's interesting. Yeah, it's wild. That's interesting. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, you stay right there. We're coming right back. That's Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. If you want to get great trade setups in equity as well as the option market, come over to TFNN.com and test drive my daily newsletter, Market Insights, for two weeks absolutely free. Each trade setup comes with a profit projection as well as stock placement. Included in Market Insights is a Twitter alert service. This allows you to take advantage of intraday setups. Volatility is back in the markets. What does that mean to you? To me, it spells short-term opportunity each and every day. The days of trending up on lighter volume are gone. We have come off the highs with volume across the globe. Don't get caught in a complacency trap. Many of the indices have given back two months of trading in one week. We have a trader's market. You can take advantage of this trader's market by test driving my daily newsletter, Market Insights, free for two weeks. Market Insights will give you the edge you're looking for in the markets. Go to TFNN.com under Newsletter. Hit the Market Insight tab for your two-week free test drive right here, right now. In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become a better trader each week in his newsletter the gold report with over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week in addition to covering the xau hui gld and dollar the gold report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market for your 30-day free trial to tom o'brien's gold report log on to tfnn.com today don't miss out on this great offer act now 
What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney believes that a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation location and the Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and certified financial planner of the Clearwater Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney LLC, member SIPC. In the world of financial markets, there's a new player in town with an exciting new way to trade the markets. Nadex now offers binary options as well as bull spreads in a wide range of indices along with commodity and forex markets. With as little as $100, you can gain access to a new way to trade global financial markets while guaranteeing that your risk will always be capped. Nadex allows you to multiply your trading opportunities in ways never imagined before and access markets you once thought were out of reach. With short-term trading opportunities available, including Including binary options expiring each hour the market is open, Nadex allows you to take advantage of a variety of market conditions regardless of volatility or market direction. Now is the time to take advantage of this exciting new market. Don't let this trading opportunity pass you by. Open your account today by clicking on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Nadex, a better way to trade. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Steve Rose, Tom O'Brien, go long America, folks, and you're going to find out why right now, right here. Okay, so what we're talking about, folks, is this. We're talking about the, the so the India is taxing the heck out of their citizens on gold, right? So watch how this shakes out, though, which is just, just really cool. India is an importer of gold. Well, the only way you can buy gold, folks, on exchanges, period, is with what? Dollars. Yeah. U.S. dollars. Yeah. yeah. Now, how can you buy oil? It's also priced in U.S. US dollars. U.S. dollars. It's also priced in U.S. dollars. Well, what has happened is this, is that the rupee has got destroyed, and I expect that you're going to see other currencies get destroyed, because this is what's going on. What's going on is that, if you, unless you have gold in the country... Bottom line is that you need U.S. dollars. Every time someone buys a gold, piece of gold, they need a U.S. dollar. In India's case, the way it works is that everything gets imported. And they're the largest importers of gold, period. Well, every single time they're buying it, they have to do U.S. dollars. So their currency is getting destroyed. Every time oil goes higher, more dollars get used. Now, and, and I guess I'm not joking about this, but when you, when you take the aspect that you have the largest armed forces in the world. You have the strongest, you have the currency in the world. Yes. Bottom line, folks, if you think that the dollar is going away or the USA is going away, you're dreaming, okay? Because the dynamic shift that has taken place right here, I don't think, I, so picture it. You get the US dollar, you get, you get gold. This is going to continue. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And the other countries, because they're basically taking the citizens to the cleaners, uh, I'm going to suffer for it. And, you know, we'll see where this shakes out, but it's pretty wild, man. You know. Hey, Tom, are you still there? Yes, sir. Hey, uh, looking at the volumes on gold, though, once we do this test, over time, we should retest the highs again, shouldn't we? This is the way that uh, it looks to me at this particular point. There's, let me, I, I want to pull up... Uh, New gold, NGD. If you want to see, if you want an equity that you want to wrap your head around, folks, okay? Now, this is a freebie. <laughs> well, I remember trading this one years ago. That's right. Yeah. I want to show you something on new gold. The, I'll put this on a five-year basis, right? And what you're going to see is exactly what you're just talking about, Rick, okay? Is that we got a beautiful high with volume, okay? Exactly. That high is $14.15. Now, I'm benchmarking new gold on this correction on the way back, and the reason I'm doing it is this, is that 
the it looks to me like this is also going to take a monster hit. The reason being is that when we came off those highs, you know, we, we hit the high up there with uh, 109 million. Well, we came off that high with 77. The 77 is going into 100. It's like, okay, man, that's still too much. And I, you know, new gold can still come back another three dollars, which would be insane. Okay. That brings it to May of 2010. I'm going to match that May of 2010, and I'm mm -hmm, going to, mm -hmm. and I want to, I don't own Newmont, but Newmont looks to me like it's going to get smoked big time, okay? So I expect, though, Newmont is going to hold the March 09 levels. Now, if it doesn't, that's problematic huge, okay? If it does, that to me is going to be probably the third best buy in gold in the last 10 years. And the reason being is that no one will buy... No as, one, as long as Newmont holds these... Yeah, and I'm not saying buying Newmont. No, right, right. You're it's saying not yeah, buying NGD Newmont. because it's got the it, high volume. It'll high. be NGD, right. it'll be AEM, it'll be Gold Corp. Okay. Those, and what will happen, folks, is that we're going to be down so low that no one will buy it. You won't hear any gold calls come in here. I can tell you from experience... Um, unfortunately, people have been buying, buying, buying all the way down, and they're, they're smoked. And I, I know the next time that I, I speak uh, in May... But you're and talking the, the gold equities. And gold, gold equities. equities. Right. And, and, right. and New York, and, and the bottom line is that they didn't sell again, and these people have been in gold market for 10 years and lost money. So it, it blows my mind. But anyway. Hey, Tom, did you patent that King Dollar statement? Because I'm starting to hear that a lot. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. And in fact, G7... Uh, in the den, it said that uh, Cudlow yeah. used it before me anyway. So I, you know, I, I guess uh, you know it's, it's not it's not my turn. But I, I well, just, it, it, when you when you said it, I think you, this was about three or four months ago. You, you, I thought you, you, he was he was pretty impressed with that statement. Maybe that's because uh, well, he, oh, when I when I was on with Cudlow last year, that that there's there's no doubt you know uh, his. His head turned. Yeah, oh, he when, when, I, that one. He when I when I said that, hey, listen, man, the dollar wants to go up. I'm hearing it a lot more from other people too. That's why I was just curious. Yeah, well, on, the, um, it's, on uh, it's Tom. CNBC. Yeah, on it's, CNBC. It's Tom's King Dollar. It's it's, it's 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 your king dollar. No, you know what? It's all of our king dollar. Uh, you know that's why? True. Because that's true. what the USA like is about is all us our mongrels, man. I like that. We'll bring it higher. <laughs> yeah, totally, man. <laughs> totally. <laughs> hey, okay, do you pay your taxes yet? Um, we don't have to. Uh, we're blessed with a lot of ra natural resources here. <laughs> <laughs> All price to the U.S. dollars. Uh, and yeah. you guys are blessed with lots of tourism money. So uh, Yeah, totally, man. Hey, yeah. how, how, how's your dad doing? He's re actually really, really picking it up, yeah. Oh, uh, cool, man. Yeah. Well, tell yeah. him we said hi. You betcha, man. Okay, man. Have a great Bye. one. Have a safe one. Let's see what we got happening out here. So I got the DAX is off sixty points now. So you know that's on the way of making an ABC down too. So you got the DAX. Uh, let me try to find that chart. Uh, DAX. Yeah. So it's it's trading towards its session lows. So it made a low so far today of seven thousand eight. You're trading out at seven thousand eighteen. Okay. Uh, FTSE FTSE's off uh, thirty seven points right now. So you know it it looks like the DAX. Let me retrace back just above the point seven eight six. You know, so it's just trying to get down in here into that 6,060 range. So 68, 68. Yeah, 68, no, you know, once it's, range. once it's inside 69.71, it's all over. Well, I don't know if it's all over, but... <laughs> <laughs> what I mean specifically, folks, uh, is that yeah. if it gets like inside that, that range, yeah, then it's a false break topside. That, that's, how that, that's how that shakes and bakes. The, uh, the Dow Industrials haven't been able to get up there yet. The, uh, the Russell... Oh, so this is cool. Okay. No, okay. go ahead. Go no, ahead. no, no. You go ahead first. Well, the Russell 2000 right now, the IWM, folks, so check this out. This is going to get interesting. The, I, the IWM right now, right here, oh, it's is trying to. No, it's trying to. Okay. Uh, Which is 80, what, February 2nd? 8322 is the number. Okay. It came down to 8318. Uh, you get a little bounce going on right now. But, oh, we got volume. We got volume, Mama. Here she is. Uh, you don't think you have volume? Look at that baby. No, Someone I, I blasted that. I was that. looking at the volume of the uh, spies uh, just during the first 25 minutes, and it seemed to be relatively steady. So when I was just doing just the straight line math, it's like it's got, it's got volume today, you know, because it's only got 120 million shares that it was dealing with. Yes. Uh, uh, just even from the gap area, not on the daily chart. Right. But so what, what I was going to show you. You know, is what's on the what's on my screen here right now, folks, is 
a, a weekly chart of the uh, Nikkei. Okay. And just showing the, the downtrend channel that it has been in. And now this is the weekly chart, so we won't know until until the week is over, until Friday. Yes. But, but you know, it, it obviously did pull back today. You had the Nikkei trade down 72 points. Now, right. wouldn't it be cool if this if it does hold this channel? Because what that says oh. is that we're going to get enough of a pullback to give us the opportunity to get, get into in. it. Get in. You know, it, my, my, my concern yesterday when I was taking a look at it is it was busting through it, yep. you know, with conviction, and then it just becomes a little bit more difficult to find an entry point. Oh, I know. And let it, me tell you, know, you something, but, folks. We, the, the so it would be nice if, oh, if, if this actually holds it's this huge. week, and then we see, you know, some type of uh, pullback in this. Oh, yeah. Big time. Big so, time. Yeah. We're going to learn how to speak Japanese. i got to talk to my son, Tommy. Tommy, oh, Tommy took know, Japanese. Tommy. He was, he, he, you know... He, he took it two or three years and went to school over there. Yeah, which was yeah. really yeah. very cool. Pretty cool. Uh, you know, so gave, speaks. I, I gave him plenty of golf balls. It's good. Okay, yeah. good. He was, hey. look, he was looking at me. I, I think I told you this. He was looking at me like, golf balls? You pitch the season. He's in the seventh grade then, or eighth grade. You know, and I'm giving him golf balls. And I said, I'm telling you, man. And sure enough, he, he was staying with the family. Yeah. The guy didn't believe it. The guy drives him around his Porsche, brings him to the... Okay, so picture this, folks. Like Ta that. You know, he, he's, he's, he's bright beyond belief. Went to a great school. Bottom line, goes to Japan, going to school. He calls me from the pachinko power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. From the pachinko <laughs> power. Right? you got to love, love it. it. And that's, of course... And, and he won. He won. Uh, and that's an O'Brien for you. It. It's it. in the DNA, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely in the DNA. Oh, man, I'm telling you. Probabilities are... You know, what's kind of interesting is, uh, you know, you, as you know, I've been fortunate enough to, to play golf around the world. Yes. And uh, and so in Japan, which are, they have really un unbelievable golf courses, you know, just immaculate. Really, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's almost like you'd, somebody's out there with a small piece, small clippers getting everything just... I love it. You know, just perfect. But what, what's weird is that you know, you go into a nice golf course in the U.S., and they're thinking nothing but merchandising. Yes. You know, just, uh, I mean, if you've right. ever gone up to Augusta, uh, folks, there's more money walking outside of those merchandise tents. I mean, everybody's carrying bags okay. of goods, you know, whether it's for themselves, friends, or what have you. You go to a golf course in Japan, and, and they don't know about putting logos on golf shirts. There's no selection okay. for, for anything. Really? Yeah, which is kind of, I always thought that was unfortunate. Of course, wow. I was a little bit bigger guy, so I would have needed sumo size. Um, you know, golf shirt. So, uh, but but I was was disappointed in that. But wow. we're talking about your your king dollar here. Yes, and your king dollar. You know, it's up towards its session highs right now. So that thing has got some. Uh, you know, and what, and what was so cool is it came down and tested that uh, swing point right to the T. I mean, right to the penny yesterday. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. Oh, that, this is some movement. Okay, we got. We need wider. Oh, there's that. There's the first pop. Okay. Let's see what the, she popped right there. There's some contrast. So, you know, at a minimum, it should get up in the 80, 31, maybe 80, 68. We'll see what type of volume, if it expands on the way up there. That yeah. just makes just normal retracement. You know, uh, what's amazing is that uh, if we go over to FCX, if you want to see folks, you know, FCX, you know, we've talked about it before, but Freeport Mac Moran, you know, sure enough, building cars to go downtown. Uh, mm. It's going to blow away a B point today with volume. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're already at 8.8 .8 million. This is a monster ABC down. Yeah, because that's not that's not very much of a retracement. No, no, this is just, you know this is just you like know? Apple, yeah. just the opposite way. If you want to see folks, uh, <laughs> I call it a, just a, a, a hundred percent sideways move. Okay, zero retracement. Uh, but you can see that it's subtle. But you can see it was building cause to go downtown. You know, if if you put a channel line at the top, you put a channel line at the right, bottom. Right, right, the juice right, is right, down at the right, bottom. Right, right, for sure. What ends up happening now? Breaks the B point, and what's wide open down there is 28 bucks, and you're at 37 right now. That's that is a that is a huge heads up. And um, copper, of course, got smoked last night because uh, copper's at a good high anyway, but uh, because of China, you know. So the bottom line is that okay, what are they going to push out? Um, yeah. Let's go take a look at some high volume stocks out here. Even though we don't have any high volume, we get BAC. Uh, up 11. Oh, look at the Amelin Pharmaceutical. They must have got something passed. Uh, yeah. I, 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 up I, I seven put and a half bucks. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, what is interesting, though, if you take a look at that yeah. and you go to a, a weekly or monthly chart, okay. all it's doing, it's in, it's in a sideways consolidation since like 2008. It really? Wow. You know, it, it's trading at the prices back in 2008. Oh, let's see. I did a L. That's interesting. What did, no, no. I don't, no, that, that, I don't I, know what you pulled I, up. I, I pulled the wrong one up. <laughs> I pulled the wrong one up. Let me see. A M L N. Yeah. Okay. A M L N. And put it on a weekly. That had some, some nice volume today, but put it on a weekly, pull it all the way back. People okay. are just getting their money out. 
Yep. Unreal. This is a quality. Mm. Look at that quality. So it's only 50% retracement. Right. Interesting. Pretty well. Yeah. You know, I mean, you just took a look at the day and I said, let's just pull it back and see what it's doing. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Look at that, though. On a quarterly, here, yeah, I'll put it on a monthly instead. Yeah, I didn't even put it on the monthly to see. That's but it's, oh, yeah, it's back to 2008, right? Yeah. yeah. Into a downdraft. In the yeah. down, into the yeah. downdraft uh, uh, week. Yeah. Big down. So, you know, we'll see. But uh, you got the XLE because we have been talking about how that has been the weak sector. And so that is now coming through another swing point that was put in here on March 22nd. That had 20 million shares, folks. You're trading at the session lows, and you've already done 4.5 million shares, so you're an hour into it. So, you know, it should have the volume to even take that out. Yeah, and that is going to be huge heads up because if we if we talk about multiple ABCs, folks, multiple ABCs up or down, uh, a very unusual in the marketplace, folks. Uh, when they happen, though, they can get consistent. Yeah, you know? it's, it's a nice pattern to find it, with inside oh, any chart that you would trade. It's when you huge. see it, then you, 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 you get to understand the pattern, and then you right. can go ahead and, and it becomes right. a different pattern than maybe what we would normally teach, but but it becomes a pattern that you can absolutely play. Oh, yeah, uh, big time, big time. Because you're, you're doing what? You're, you're managing your risk, and that's all right. it's about. That's right. That's all it's about. No, no two ways about it. You manage your risk, and you're all set. Uh, that's and cool. actually, take a look at the. That, this is kind of interesting because uh, the XLE, if you go back to the January 30th swing point, which is where it's trading into right now, that thing only has 13 million shares. You've already done four and a half for five million shares. Yeah, 4.6. So, and it, so that that area is going to be taken out, and then it's got to go down to January 13th. That only has 16 million shares. And look at October 4th. October 4th is screaming. It's screaming out there, baby. <laughs> 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 so Exxon Mobil's got to be, you know, got to be having some troubles. Huh? Well, let's see. That, you know, and that is the strongest one out there. You know, so uh, you know, we'll let's see. Uh, it, yes, it's it, not it, not too bad. It's, it's right now. I mean, no, it's it's it's, it's got to get more selling into it. Yeah. You know, but bottom line is that you're not going to have one equity hold the whole deal up. Right, see, right, o right. Oxy's getting acceleration down. Apache's getting acceleration down. Rig's getting acceleration down. Schlumberger uh, came back somewhat. Chevron's getting acceleration down. Baker Hughes wants to go out of business. I'm only kidding, but yeah. it's trading like it wants to go out of business. Yeah. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, April 13, 14, Tampa, Florida, folks. You want to bisect and dissect the market? Steve will teach you how. April 27th, 28th in Boston. We're going to be right back. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we pay you more for converting your jewelry to cash. Let's go to uh, Brian in New Jersey. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I uh, just want to let you know I did uh, give you some jewelry. Uh, my jeweler offered me uh, about $650. But you get a check in the mail tomorrow for about 1200 At Tiger Metal Exchange, it's all about honesty when converting your jewelry to cash. Okay, let's go to Paul in Florida first. Hey, Paul, what's going on? Well, I want to commend you on the Tiger Metal Exchange. I just did a deal with you guys the other day. Oh, good. I'm very happy. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Now, yeah. did you sell us jewelry or did you buy coins off us? Yeah, I sold you jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. See, what we waited at was less than you guys said, so, you know, you're totally honest. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we give you the tools to value your gold, and it's absolutely free. Call 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. We've created the easiest, safest, and most honest cash for gold process. Tiger Metal Exchange. It's the only call you need to make. 
David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Great Basin Gold is a mining company engaged in the exploration and development of two emerging gold properties in Nevada and South Africa with a total resource base of more than 23 million gold ounces. Great Basin Fernstone Mine in South Africa opened in February of this year with a resource of 20 million gold ounces, becoming the first mine to open in the historic Whitwaters Rand Basin in the last 30 years. The Burnstone Mine is projected to have a 25-year mine life and is fully financed with production anticipated to be over 250,000 thousand ounces per year at a cash cost of only four hundred and fifty dollars per ounce the hollister mine in nevada became fully integrated in the fourth quarter of 2010 with annual production estimates of 110,000 ounces of gold per year over the eight-year mine life at a cash cost of only 527 dollars per ounce great basin gold is cash flow positive and trades on the toronto and new york stock exchanges under the symbol gbg Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We get the Dow right now at 48. NASDAQ off 9. S&P's off uh, 4.5. You get gold off 13. Um, hard to believe we're seeing any uh, red, but we're seeing red. No doubt about it, man. You know, the real key is going to be, can is there an expansion of volume as we head lower? Because, of course, every time we've had right. lower, there hasn't been. Right, right, know? right, for sure. Uh, yeah, 37 million right now in the SPY. You're going into 120. Uh, if we look at the IWM, the Russell 2000, you have 14 million going into 60. Oh, it's a 46. Oh, that's going to get interesting. Yeah, so that's it's got some That's got some juice yeah. in it. Okay, actually, we got to use 70. Oh, okay, okay so... You're, going, you're benchmarking against that February. So 72. February. we got to use the 72, uh, which is, what, two hours? That's going to be close. But it's inside the range. You know, the range we were talking about, the lower range. So sure. Once you go inside the range, folks, you're, you're 8322. Once you go inside the range, bottom line, 7841 is the next number. Now, that's a good number. That's five bucks. Yeah. So, so when you're doing that, okay. Yes. So you're using you're using getting back inside that uh, February where it broke out. That's correct. Okay. Yes. So, in, in, from your standpoint, you get inside there, even if you do it on lighter volume, you should still go down to the bottom of the range. Or what happens would you is this: say at that stage, may stay at a higher level consolidation. It depends on how far. And this is subjective, okay? Yeah. But that bar there has uh, a dollar in it. 82.24 to 83.22. Okay. The further you get into inside the bar, like yeah. if you get inside that bar 40 cents, right, it's going down the other side. Yeah, okay. If you Five, really it, pierce it. Yeah. yeah. But it just, that's how it works. And I, that comes from my South Boston upbringing of triple deckers. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, it really does. Because what happens, folks, with floors, you know, is this, is that how many times you either right. walk upstairs right. or no, walk downstairs sure. and turn around in the middle of the stairway? Uh, which, you know, which, you do it, but it's very unusual. Which is absolutely a great metaphor. Yeah. And, and I use it all the time when I'm teaching people, you yeah. know, 382, Exactly. Why? Well, again, because you're going to be in the middle of the floor if you don't. When doesn't always happen, the, but most of the time. Oh, you can, let you me know, tell you something. Most of the time it works. Those things, absolutely. And, and, you know, I used to only trade off of that. Yeah. That's yeah. all I trade off, right? Yes. So picture this, folks. At the very beginning, this is 94, 95, right? When I'm trading just off these numbers, right? I say, okay, if it takes out one, is it going to take out the other? And picture, I, at that point, I was doing maybe 150 trades a day, Okay. Um, and the spreads then were much bigger. You know, they were they were basically uh, a, 
uh, an eighth and a quarter. Right. Well, even right. a sixteenth. Right. We were right. dealing right. with a sixteenth, right. too, because right. it was sixteen quarters. But anyway, well, so what ended up happening there, I'd have to calculate really quick, saying, okay, a point three eight two to five, well, how much more money is for that? Sure, you know for what sure. I mean? No, for sure. And so it's really crazy. And then when I realized that, just like you said, hey, if it breaks it, it's going to the next one. Yeah. Bottom line. Yeah. You know, so then it was always, that's when I really started getting into scaling. I said, oh, I see, hold it, man. I said, so if I scale this baby, where is it? So I know, you know, just one slight bounce and, you, and you're, because we were only looking, you know, to make a quarter, you know, a sixteenth and, you know, very quickly in in those days yeah yeah know, so and, and then and then uh you know over at the master trader we spend time taking a look at you know i was showing i was showing the attendees you know the subtleties of of what the candle what each candle is actually yes. communicating to you your candles especially my candles especially, your hammer candles. especially <laughs> as you were especially as you were coming into those areas yes you know because oh, it's yeah. giving up you know and when you just want to start putting that really together talking. for them then you know people are like Wow, I see that because no. it wasn't. It was what was great. It was. It wasn't like it was just a a chart that we would look at that were part of my textbook. They would come up with stocks to take a look at. We go look at it in exact same patterns. You yes. know, repeat as you came they into do. those levels. What were the candles communicating to us? And yes. sure enough, it's it's, so it's like, pretty it, cool. It, it, it was absolutely amazing. There's no yeah. doubt about it. It's pretty cool, folks. You stay right there. We're going up to Newton, Massachusetts, and Basil Chapman's going to be growling and proud at you know, eleven to twelve Eastern time. Then out to beautiful Santa Fe, New Mexico. Kate Stalter, 12 to 1. Back here. David White, 3 to 4. And 4 to 6, you're going to be growling and prowling with me. Have a great day, folks.